Hi friends, in this tutorial you will see how to install PyMan32 on a or in a Windows environment. So let's get started. Now the first thing you have to do is that you have identify it. So where is it located? So this is the site where most of these. Uh, so this is the site is that unofficial Windows binaries for Python extension packages. So most of the uh, binaries for Python uh, you can find them in here in the site. So HTTPS www lfd.uci.edu so this is the site once you visit it uh, just use uh, control F so if I do a control F and type in something like 5 win 32 so in here you can see that there are these different pi uh, 32 files so it says pi 32 provides extensions for Windows to run pi 32 system files and Python dot exe scripts uh, pywin32 post install that py and then this install from an elevated command prompt however these files these are real files and in order to install these files you will have to use another technique which i will demonstrate in a few seconds so all you have to do is that uh, for this installation sorry for this tutorial i i already installed this one so i clicked on it it uh, it got downloaded to my computer and I have moved it to my desktop in here so you can see that this pi, uh, pi132 however notice that it's a real file so you can see the extension whl now if you want to um, install it all you have to do is that you have to use the pip installer uh, you have to type pip and then install and in here you can see that uh, the first option is pip after that space and then install and then another space and then you have to type in this file name which is pywin so if i type pywin and tab you can see that there is the dot whl extension at the end of it so all you have to do is that uh, press enter and it will install it in my case it says that requirement already satisfied what it means is that i've already installed this package so i don't need to install it twice but however in here it is there so if you want to do it other than that, one thing uh, that you, I want to mention is that um, when you're doing this, remember to do this using the administrator uh, privileges. If you open a command prompt, it's not going to work just like that. So if you want it to work, all you, ha you have to run it as an administrator. Otherwise, it will throw in an error something like uh, permission not available or something like that. I, I don't remember it exactly. Um, but you have to run it as an administrator and one more thing uh, guys is that um, when you are installing these packages make sure you're connected to the internet because sometimes uh, some of these packages not all but some of them they require internet connection so that they can download things from the internet and then run it on your computer so just keep that in mind it saves you a lot of time googling for things why they are not working i've had this issue a few times but it's good to have your computer connected to the internet while you are um, downloading this pack sorry installing these packages so this is it for this tutorial uh, if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this uh, tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends so i'll see you guys in the next one